Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shape the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-5977. Item Number, SCP-5977 Containment Class Safe Secondary Class Epoch Disruption Class Blum Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures Dedicated Web Crawler I.O. Bjorn will collate news media to identify instances of SCP-5977. Disinformation campaigns will portray their appearance as acts of artistic vigilantism. I.O. Bjorn will also collate news media data to gauge the effectiveness of these campaigns. At the present rate of adoption, further Foundation action may soon become unnecessary. The Quantum Super Mechanics section of Site 43 will monitor the situation and revise these procedures as required. Description SCP-5977 is a collective designation for anomalously manifested structural columns composed of resilient materials such as concrete or steel, as well as large concentrations of collagen. These columns appear within structures in imminent danger of collapse or actively collapsing, bolstering them to the point where said collapse either does not occur or does not lead to loss of life. Confirmed instances of SCP-5977 have appeared in 49 countries to date, sculpted to resemble members of the family's Vascalarctidae and Dorsity. Examples include koalas, black bears, brown bears, giant pandas and polar bears. The only anomalous quality of these structural members is their sudden, inexplicable appearance. Epar class objects are only anomalous by association. Addendum 5977-1, Incident Report The report below describes the most extreme manifestation of SCP-5977. Incident 5977-I18 Date, July 12, 1969 Event, an office tower in Los Angeles, California constructed with substandard materials began to collapse shortly after occupancy began. The collapse was arrested by the sudden appearance of 137 stylized steel beams carved with a relief of an Arctinus pristinus. The lesser short-faced bear extinct for approximately 11,000 years. Notes 214 individuals were within the tower or in its immediate vicinity during this event. These individuals issued a class action lawsuit against the Wilco Construction Company, which in turn blamed subcontractors for the substandard materials. Founder Keith Wilcox asserted to a newspaper reporter that The whole thing nearly came crashing down once already. I caught them skimping on reinforcing steel and told them to take another look at our contract. Strong, simple materials and a bare-bones framework. They worked fast. I'll give you that, somehow kept the thing standing, but it was only a matter of time. The flaky garbage we're pulling out of that concrete. I don't know what it is, but it sure as hell isn't rebar. Addendum 5977-2 Provenance After Incident 5977-I18, the following transmission was received by Wilco's teletype machine. Security clearance level 3 required to continue. Bear with us. Nothing is unbearable. When you have enough bears, you are welcome. The O-Bear Watch Command. P.S. We are sorry about the bare bones thing. We misunderstood. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.